absolutely anything that you really want to know, you can find it. I teach Algebra 1 at Maria High School. I introduced Wolfram Alpha to my students and we started off with something like biology, just typing in the word cells. And so they typed it in and it came up with pictures and all kinds of stuff and they were like, oh my God, what else can I do with this? So I was like, okay, maybe you could type in one of your homework problems. So they typed in one of their homework problems and they're like, oh my God, here's the answer. Oh, this is so cool and here are the steps. So they were really excited. So then they started typing in other things. Some of them are taking a class on entrepreneurship. So they type in um, like Microsoft versus Google or um, KFC versus Popeyes. So things like those, they started taking it beyond that. So then I started asking them, how else can you use it? What class can you use it for, for chemistry? And they just kind of took it from there and now they go to it for almost everything. When they saw that they could use Wolfram Alpha, for m so many different things, it was really exciting. And they're like, oh my God, Miss B, it is so cool. It's important, especially when you're teaching math, to have steps. And an introductory algebra class, they do stuff like solving equations, um, looking at graphs. So then they have the visual, and there are the steps also. So you can enter all kinds of information, and there are steps. We can say, okay, let's stop and look at step one. What happened here? Or if they miss a step, we can go back and say, hmm, why did we get this? Or how did we end up with this? So it creates that atmosphere for more conversation, also more comprehension in terms of being able to go back and look and make inferences, draw conclusions. Wolfram Alpha is it just has tons of information. It's applicable. You can use it in so many different situations. Um, it's available anytime you would like. And um, I'd say that everyone should be using it.